What is up guys and today we are on Runex and this is by far one of the best servers out there so you might notice that it's very similar to Spawn PK, a server that I've recently uploaded a video on and the reason for this is is because the two servers are actually owned by the same owner so this is basically the economy version of the server whereas the other one's like a PKing server so the server is still quite active and has around well currently they have 93 players online so they have between 100 to 150 on here whereas like 150 to 250 on Spawn PK so if you enjoyed like the economy aspect of the server then this is definitely the server that you want to check out and they have so much cool stuff on here as well right so one of the coolest things about here is the achievement system so there's easy achievements medium achievements and hard achievements and they offer various stuff and offer really cool rewards such as runex points they even offer some exclusive items that you can also um, use so you can actually get caskets by completing hard task scrolls so if you have a task bottle you can actually get these from skilling like just any skilling or as a drop from monsters you can open these for either a guaranteed easy task or a random one which is between easy medium or hard so we got an easy one from that one so the task is to high out 145 diamonds and it gives you 2500 rune x points and a casket which contains one of these rewards so it can offer some really exclusive rewards so right so as a reward from completing those task rolls you actually get easy rewards medium rewards and hard rewards so i'm actually going to be opening a hundred of each casket to show what kind of loot you can get from them so yeah let's start with the easy ones and then we'll work our way up This is the last inventory of our easy caskets and as you can see from opening all of those we got such a good amount oh my god we got an armadillo crossbow from our last one so yeah we got some really good loot from that we got seven 17 bonus mystery chests two stuff of the deads armadillo crossbows um four of them actually two zamrock spears a saradome and sword as well as lots of other cool stuff so you, you can actually see like if you hover your mouse over it then it actually describes exactly what it does when you get it when you get it as a reward so yeah um we got some really good rewards from that so now let's open the meat medium ones. Right now for the last five car medium caskets, so these actually gave some really decent loot as well. We managed to pull out a few dragon hunter crossbows and even a dragon sword, so we did manage to end up getting some raised items. Oh, I didn't even open that last one, but yeah, crystal key, so we can open that later on. So you can actually see like all the loot that it can give as well from the crystal chest, so I'll probably be using all of those once I finish opening these. But yeah, overall some really decent loot. We got some gilded skimitars and gilded boots, which are quite rare. Loads of super combat potions and stamina potions, and yeah, well, I think we got more loot that added to this tab as well that we already got from our easy clue scrolls so you have 34 crystal keys in total um 32 halves 32 loop halves and six epic crystal keys so these should give some really decent loot all right we're now going to open the hard casket so these should give some really good rewards i'm hoping for some good items so yeah let's see what we can get from them Right now for our last five hard caskets so the loot that we got from these was genuinely amazing like I cannot believe that like we got 
two dragon warhammers like these are worth so much dragon claws they're still pretty good and we got an occult necklace two smoke battle stars as well so overall some really rare rewards we even got some gilded pieces they're mainly cosmetic but they do look kind of cool a few barrows pieces um some few ranger sets as well but yeah overall we got some really decent loot from all of these caskets to be honest so i'm now going to open these bonus mystery chests to see how many points they each give <laughs> Right, so it turns out that from those boxes you actually either get rune x points or slab. So now I'm just going to show you all the stuff you can actually spend those points on. Alright, so with your rune x points you can actually buy quite a lot of stuff including a dwarf cannon set, um, the rigor and augury prayers, a void, chaotix and loads of really cool stuff like there's a trim dragon defender which actually gives an extra strength bonus and an avid accumulator which gives double the stats of a normal standard avid accumulator so they actually have some really cool stuff in here. Right, and then the slayer stop you can also buy some really cool stuff so if you trade them you can buy a melee slayer helmet ranged magic so they have some really cool stuff in here and even like a chaotic mystery box slayer xp lamps um you can capture any slayer monster as a pet by buying this crystal and it only costs 50 slayer points so you can actually buy some really good stuff in here right yeah so you can see i have 2100 slayer points so that is a lot of stuff so i can pretty much buy any of these slayer helmets but yeah i'll save them from now until i decide what i want to do with them but yeah that just shows off some of the really cool stuff you can buy in here all right guys so they actually have some really cool stuff in the donator shop as well so i've actually bought myself a few mystery chests and some prize keys as well as some normal mystery boxes so if you hover over them you can actually see like what types of reward you can get so you can get like party hat bandos like all the god wars items zara items as well so that is really cool and these basically give the same as that one but these open five at the same time whereas these only open one so yeah that is pretty good and if you use a prize key it gives you a guaranteed reward of a rare item so yeah hopefully we should be able to get some really cool stuff from this so yeah let's go oh we got a pet general grado and a third age kite shield that is incredibly rare not gonna lie at all so really decent loot let's open up another one oh my god a toxic blowpipe no way guys all right open up the next one third age range top what the hell all right that is pretty good um let me just get some more space let's open up another chest oh we got a third age plate body no way right from our last chest what are we gonna get from it Oh my god, we got two third age pieces and a chaotic longsword in one. That is actually insane. But yeah, let's open up the rest of these boxes and see what we can get from them. Oh, Godshield 1, Zamrock Hilt, a scythe. Alright, anything else? Third age plate legs from Mystery Box. We've almost got the full third age set pretty much, so that's pretty good. From those chests and boxes, we actually got some insanely good rewards. So the teleport interface is actually really cool. Let's just go to rock crabs or something. Training, I'm going to set up this gilded cannon base that we ha we've actually got. This actually fires magic proje projectiles, which is insanely cool. And we've also got a cursed dragon pet, which looks even awesomer. And these cursed boots and cursed gloves. So yeah, let's just fire this. So it even fires magic projectiles. So these do a lot more damage than normal cannonballs. So as you can see, I'm getting magic XP for it as well so progressing through the levels really quickly and it's a really good oh my god i'm dying but yeah as you can see it's like to be oh my god <laughs> we just died to rock crabs anyway so yeah um you get all your stuff back but as you can see that is insanely cool right so to help some of you guys starting out on this server as it is incredibly good and i definitely recommend you check it out i will be doing a 250 dollar giveaway so there's going to be seven different prizes so in the first prize you'll receive a hundred dollar bond in second and third prize you'll receive a 45 dollar bond in the fourth and fifth prize a 20 dollar bond and sixth and seventh prize a 10 dollar bond so these are actually worth quite a lot in game or you can just use them for a donator rank as well which is also really good on this server so all you have to do to enter the giveaway is like the video, comment your own game name on Runex, and subscribe to my channel. So when you comment your own game name, make sure you actually register on the website and login game before entering your comment. Otherwise, someone could steal your name because people actually like read through the comments and register all of their names just to have an improved chance of winning. So make sure you, you actually register. But yeah, that's pretty much all you have to do to enter for the giveaway. So guys, I really hope you enjoyed watching this video and I definitely recommend checking the server out. So thanks for watching.